Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. When you're doing a seasonality analysis, like here in QQQ, and looking for seasonal strength or seasonal weakness for stock performance, it could become a little bit difficult if you're looking for stocks one at a time. So in that case, what you want to do is use a seasonality screener. And let's just go to a seasonality screener and look at this example. And over here we have the filters, and down below we have 98,000. 822 different items in here and what they are are all the stocks lined up by calendar month number of years and the seasonality statistics for each stock and let's go through an example of looking for stocks um, that had historically seasonal strength or tended to do uh, uh, well in a particular calendar month and the first thing I want to do here is set the minimum number of years in our in our test to eight years and then I want to look for seasonal strength so the frequency of wins that's what we're looking for is positive occurrences I'm going to set that to 70 percent which is this column here and this tells you wh what is the percentage of um, times the stock has been up in the number of years that we've been testing over here the next thing you want to do is look for uh, average returns this is the frequency of returns and this here is the average return so how did how did the stock do on average during that calendar month and let's set that to at least two and a half percent which is saying that uh, the average of all these 10 years observations was at least two and a half percent or more and that's this column over here let's also set the median return to two and a half percent and that lets you know what half of the returns the, at least half of the returns or more were two and a half percent or higher so at least half of the the 10 observations were two and a half percent or higher and we do that in case the average return gets skewed up very high or down very low because of an outlier and i'm just going to go to instead of looking for each calendar month let's just go to the next calendar month we have right now is august so now we're looking at the calendar month of august for any stocks with at least 70 percent positive uh, positive frequency of returns at least two and a half percent average returns and two and a half percent median returns and the next thing i'm going to do is just sort by the percent positive observations or the the highest the highest frequency of um positive returns and see over here we have uh this stock hum in the month of august in the last 10 years it's been up every year the average return for for this stock has been six percent in this situation the median return has been 4.9 percent this is the best and this is the worst return in those 10 years this is the standard deviation of the returns around this average and then next to it is the sharp ratio which takes the average return divides it by the standard deviation to get this sharp ratio so the higher this number the better because you want a higher average return for a lower standard deviation and we could also set that as a filter so let's just assume we want a higher standard deviation and let's set this to at least one so now we narrowed it down even a little bit further maybe even set it to like 0.75 that maybe that was a little bit of aggressive and then the fi finally these last three columns over here this is the absolute average return which converts all the returns into positive to get uh to get an average or the you know the magnitude of the move and this is the high and low and this is for really uh people who trade options and want to see for any particular month what was the magnitude on average of the move um, also you could come over here and use some of these other filters if you're looking for a particular sector uh d different market caps stocks only in your watch list or maybe in that are holdings in a particular etf you could also use these filters and once you're happy with it just save your filters here so the next time you come back you could just uh, pull it down and it'll, it should be saved in here and thanks for watching guys see you in the next video